today we have our January favorites for you. And it's not going to be only about cosmetics and makeup and stuff, but we are also going to talk a bit about yeah. other things. Lifestyle, YouTube, food. Just what's com what comes to our mind. Everything we enjoyed in January, basically. But first off, we're going to start with our makeup. Okay, so the first thing for me this month was this BB cream and it's the Total Age Repair Wrinkle Reduce Royal BB Cream from Etude House with SPF 45 and PA++++. Yeah. And snail cream. <laughs> and snail cream in there. Well, snail mucus or whatever. I don't... Snail. It, it's snail, yeah. <laughs> but it's it's really good. It's actually, it's extremely light. Like, I'm, I'm extremely pale and I, I'm trying to think of something you might know, like something, uh, foundation that I have that is too dark for me is the Revlon Color Stay in Buff and normally really fair people can use that but I can't because it's still too dark. This is perfect for me, although I actually didn't want to buy it. I had to buy it because my OPB cream was discontinued, so yeah. <laughs> it's really great and it's, I would say it's not for extremely oily skin because it's pretty dewy. But yeah, it's really high coverage and everything and I'm maybe going to use it in some tutorial or talk about it in a review or something. But yeah, really good. Oh, so the next thing we really like is the Batiste um, dry shampoo. This one is in Fruity Cheeky Cherry. We got this in London and well, it stays up to what everyone says about it. It's great. Really, it is very, very great if you're very conscious about your hair and don't like to go out when it's kind of greasy you put this on and you feel like you just washed it. Obviously it won't work if your hair is really oily. Nothing yeah. does. But yeah. compared to other products I tried before, this it's is really way good. better. And it smells so nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, something that I figured was really great is the Pure Mild Animal Remover by, I have no idea, Kose. Kose Cosme Port. Uh, it's some Japanese. It's a Japanese makeup brand, yeah. Yeah, it's some Japanese nail polish remover that I got in Hong Kong a while back, and the bottle is super big. It was not that inexpensive. It was it was an okay price for that big of a bottle, and it's really good because it is mild, and it removes all kinds of nail polish, even stupid glittery OPI polishes that <laughs> will not leave your nails alone ever. This one does the job. So it's really, really cool. I, I, luckily it's not that empty yet and I'm really scared of the day I run out of this because I don't know yeah. where to buy this online. Actually, I need to figure out where to buy this because so far this has been the only one that my nails could take and this has been the only one that didn't make my nails chip. So it's super I'm kind good. of bummed that I didn't buy it. The next thing I want to show you are the Holika Holika Jewel Light Waterproof Eyeliner Pencils and this one is just the black one and it's called Black Crystal and then we have another one which is called Burgundy Garnet which is a burgundy one and they are really great. They're extremely creamy and they don't smudge. Like whatever you do they just don't smudge. I actually one day when I didn't have to go out I tried it without a primer just on my eye to see and it didn't go anywhere so they are really great. So check them out. And they are really in inexpensive as well. Yeah. Um, something I have been loving uh, through winter, so not only in January, but I wanted to show it anyways, is this sleek palette, which has very autumny um, colors, but since the weather is still very autumny here, <laughs> I don't feel bad using it. Um, it has a really ni nice white, so I don't even need to go to another palette for that, but every other color is kind of dark and it's just really pretty and it's everything I use on my eyes right at the moment. And it's the Sleek Eye Divine Ultra Matte version, version 2, V2, 731. Next up is something for me that I got for Christmas, uh, which is for one the Dior Lip Liner Pencil in Rouge Dior, that's the color I think. Mm. Yeah, 999 Rouge Dior which is pretty awesome. You have the pencil on one side and then you have a little brush on the other side. And my mom gave me that for Christmas and she also got me the Yves Saint Laurent, um, which is the Rouge Pour Couture, the Mats 201 lipstick or something. I'm not sure about the color name, but 
it's that color and the lipstick and the pencil actually match and it is a beautiful red I wanted I really desperately wanted max Russian red lipstick and I told my mom and she was like I didn't get into the city so I bought you that one for Christmas and it's really amazing and yeah. and I was I was stunned when I got this and it's so good it stays on all day and it, I mean it fades at some point but it fades really gracefully and you can just reapply it and 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 it's it's really really good plus the the lip liner is awesome as well uh, so the next thing we have are the Apocalypse Lip Lacquers. Actually this one isn't Rimmel, those two are Rimmel, we are going to talk about that in a bit. This one is in Eclipse, which is a really really pretty whiny red color. And then we have another one in Celestial, which is a rosy color. And it's actually one of those rosy colors that I can wear as well, because it's not too pink toned. Or blue toned. It's pink, but not on the, on the bluish side. So, and this one is actually tempting red, which is not by Rimmel, but by Manhattan, who released their collection shortly after Rimmel did. And the equivalent to that one in Rimmel would be Aurora. Yeah. It yeah. basically looks the same. It's this one is slightly more red, but you can't really tell once you wear it on your lips. So. Those are great, those stay on forever. They are pretty drying, but you can't tell that your lips are dry, so that's great. And you can do everything with them. Drink, yeah. go on a three hour long concert, <laughs> sweat, come back and it will still be on. It's amazing, really. Um, something else. We did a London haul and we also got the Apocalypse ones there. And um, we got some of the Kate Moss lipsticks. But the one I've been loving all through January is the 107 one. It's a darkish red but slightly pink and it's, it's awesome. It's the one I wear the most, I believe, from all the lipsticks I bought when we were in London. And then the last thing for the lips are the Maybelline Baby Lips, which are super awesome. Um, we have one, or Maren, Maren often uses this one, which is just for lip care, basically. And my favorite is Pink Punch, which is the pink. <laughs> And then I have Cherry Me, which is the reddish one. And it's a really nice kind of red because it's not too opaque, but you can tell that you're wearing something on your lips. Yeah, so. kind of like a tint. Yeah, but in a really moisturizing way. Yeah, mm. they are really nice. They, they make your lips feel so nice. And they give you just the right amount of color on your lips. So. Actually, they, are, they, are, they don't just look pretty, they actually work. Yeah, yeah they help. Really well. They do. Another thing I really like that I don't have here because I didn't bring it with me because I'm stupid is the Dolly Wink eyeliner in black. You probably all know it. Mm -hmm. And it's just a felt tip eyeliner, which isn't too hard. It's pretty how do I flexible. It's flexible, yeah. And it it makes really fine lines. It's really perfect for creating your wing. Actually I'm only using it for creating my wing, I'm not using it all over my eyelid. I'm not just using a powder or something and then for the wing it's perfect the sad thing is that it dries out ex extremely quickly I got it in well in September. September so that it's been a while but still it's pretty much dried out by now so I might have to buy a new one because it's amazing and that's it for cosmetics uh, something else we wanted to talk about are YouTube channels we really enjoy watching in January and we kind of liked watching movie-related YouTube channels, <laughs> <laughs> so we really enjoyed everything wrong with which is, which is so funny. It's it's really funny. Yeah, how it should have ended, which are animations, but they're really they are awesome. so good. Um, and honest trailers. We've been loving them ever since we first stumbled upon them, which was last year. But this year was uh, this month was very. We'd like to watch them this month. They kind of came back with um, everything wrong with. Yeah, so yeah, they are pretty awesome. And then something that I have always been enjoying on YouTube, but that I just came back to, is Sorted, which is a cooking channel, basically. And they have really fun recipes. They give recipes a fun, you know, twist. And they are especially for students. So most of the things they do are cheap, fast and easy to do. 
So if you don't know Sorted, definitely check them out. They are amazing and they are from England, so they have the nicest <laughs> accents. And they have books out. Yeah, well. they also have cookbooks. Staying within the food theme, we did enjoy some edibles this month. It's not necessarily food, <laughs> um, but something we discovered and we basically bulk bought are syrups to put into your coffee. Uh, this one in particular is gingerbread, which I always wanted to have at home, so mm -hmm. now I don't have to go to Spar Starbucks anymore. It saves a lot of money. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you how often we went to Starbucks before. Yeah. Okay. And now we basically don't go there anymore. Which is good. Which because is we want to save money. For so, summer. Yay. Yeah. But we also have a bunch of other um, kinds, so this is basically and just a representative. Done. I'm less exciting. Like, Often in the mornings I don't have that much time to make breakfast, which is li a little sad, but it's the truth and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Yeah. So what I do instead is just eating a Greek yogurt. It's just, it's pretty much the fastest breakfast you could have, you just open it and eat it. And it's, it pretty much keeps me full at least, well not that long, but long enough <laughs> for me to survive the first hours in university, you know and it's just the fastest and pretty healthy so that's been a favorite of mine and I've been buying a lot. So uh, that's that for the food part. So the next topic we wanted to talk about are actually mobile phone apps we enjoyed and this one, well it's it's a game and it's called Jelly Flop. It's so cute and it's a little jellyfish and it's the cutest thing ever. Um, another game we really enjoyed is Badland. Well it's, it's great, it's just a, a jump and run, well you're a small ball and you're rolling, but it, it's a jump and run game and it's so much fun. And it's super simple. Yeah, it's it's, it's the the game play itself is very simple, but it gets tricky. And the last app that we really liked in January was Candy Camera. And that's so cute! It's an app to just decorate your photos and you know, have some cute stickers to put on, some light effects, and it's such an adorable app. Especially for the stickers. The stickers are what yeah. we like about that app so much. It's, it's really recommendable. I think it's also the cutest one I've seen so far for that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, it is. Because it's just, the, the things are so girly and adorable and... Ah, yeah, and really original compared to the they other They are. So, if you are into photo decorating, definitely check that one out because it's so cute. And the last thing on our list is actually because we read when we have time. Which mm -hmm. is why I don't have time. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have time because I'm studying right now. Yeah. I have, I have one exam so I'm like, <laughs> well. But what I've been reading is Dash and Elise, Book of Dares. It's a young adult novel, I'd say. It's also by Rachel Conn and David Levithan. David Levithan is someone who is really popular right at the moment. And it's a good book. It plays around Christmas, so I'm a bit, a bit frustrated that I only read it in January. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a really cute way of writing because they exchange letters, kind of. And it was a really good read. It was a really good read. <laughs> and I'm still reading something really girly that really fits this channel. <laughs> what was he by Max Brooks? And I I'm not even halfway through, but it's really, really exciting. It is full of suspense and it's written in a well it's it's more like an aftermath of the World War Z, the zombie war. It's a zombie book. I didn't <laughs> mention that. And there was a movie with Brad Pitt and it was a really bad movie. If I mean, you, if you want to see something really funny, watch Everything Wrong with Will yeah. Ozzy. It was a very good movie. Because <laughs> I, think, I think it was probably a really good action gore movie thing, but it has nothing to do with the book. Um, but the book is really good and I can recommend it to you if you are into zombies. If you are not, this is really disgusting. Don't read it. So these were all of our January favorites. If you had anything you liked in particular over, over the time of January, leave a comment down below and tell us, even, I don't know, if it's makeup, maybe tell us what we should check out or maybe recommend we'll... me a book to read once my yeah. are over, because I really want to read something. Yeah. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. That would be really nice. Maybe you want to subscribe to our channel because we plan on doing this monthly, as you might yeah. have guessed. <laughs> also, we don't have that many videos up yet because this channel is fairly new. So if you have any requests or suggestions what we should do with this channel, just also leave it down below or write us a message or check out our Facebook. We have everything. Talk to us there. We love that. And thank you so much for watching our monthly favorites for January. Have a great February. And we will see you soon. Soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.